In this video I'm going to show you how to begin cutting up your audio and placing it into your um, sequence, or at least one way of doing it. Now, of course you can just take your audio over here and drop it in. Um, so from your project panel and drag it over and drop it into your audio. But I'm going to do something a little different because what I've decided to do is instead of just taking one piece of audio and laying my pictures out in time to a certain rhythm, I'm going to use four different pieces of audio um, and I'm going to select little clips from these um, to try to make a more well-rounded um, journalism, experiential journalism project that tells a little bit of a story. It's not a true narrative, but it's a little bit of a story. So what I have here is an interview about a dust storm. So I'm just going to start it off with a brief introduction about this um, dust source. So I'm just going to click into my source panel. So I double click my interview and it in my project panel and that automatically opens up that clip in my source panel. So you can consider this a preview window for what's what you've selected in your project panel. So here I go. I'm just going to go to the beginning. That's one way of doing it. Another way is just to press the up arrow and that brings my playhead all the way to the beginning. If I wanted to go to the end, I would press my down arrow. And that should take me to the end. Um, anyway, okay. Uh, frame by frame, left and right arrows, same thing. Um, so up arrow, down arrow, move you to the end of or beginning of the clip and the left and right arrows move you frame by frame. Let's just go to the beginning. I'm going to extend this clip in the in the in this little timeline here in my source window by doing a plus. I'm just pressing the plus to get that extended and let's just play it. We looked in the north and thought it was the blue norther coming such a huge black cloud just looked like smoke out of a train stack or something. And okay, so that's just the opening clip. clip, and she's just talking. So plus extends it, minus shrinks it. So that's helpful because now I can go in and I can use my frame by frame key to get a little more of a handle on where she stops and the other guy begins. I want a little bit of space if I can, so I can. Um, fade this clip out. So right here is where I'm going to decide that this clip is going to end. I'm going to make an edit here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to set an in and an out point on this clip. So I go to the very beginning of this clip. The first thing I want to do is set an in point. So you can see I can do that here. I can mark an in point using this or I can use the key command I and then I'll play it again. In the north and thought it was the blue norther coming. Such a huge black cloud just looked like smoke out of a train stack or something. Okay. And frame by frame to go back. And now I'm going to set my out point right here. Mark out or O. And now you can see, I'll just shrink this down again that I have an in and out point set here and the rest of it is shaded slightly darker. So now by grabbing this drag audio only, I can literally just grab that and drag it and drop it down here. And now what I have is just that little clip. I can also insert that just by clicking this button here and it inserts right at my play head. So now I have that little clip that I've created here inserted um, onto my timeline right where my playhead was. We looked in the north and thought it was the blue norther And now you can see I have nothing in my program window which previews my timeline or my sequence because there's no visuals there. It is just that little audio clip. Okay, again, down arrow brings me to the end of that clip. I'm going to go next to this track right here, which is a song about Oklahoma, the beginning of that one. And now you can see 
I've already got an in and out point set on this one, so let's just go. And that's that. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to insert, edit that one. And then I have why we come to California. Again, I have my in and my output sent. So I can either just drag it here by grabbing this little waveform icon, or I can um, click on my insert edit. And the last one is this song, Sunny California. I'm going to do the same thing. Whoops, I just moved my... I accidentally moved my um, in point. Now I could just do Command Z or Command Z. And that brings me there. Let's extend that a little bit and just hear it. Folks at night. Okay, so... Frame by frame over. I'm going to set a new in point. And then play it. Other on in California over mountains and Okay, and that's good, and I'll just do another insert edit. And now right here, I have the basis of the audio for my project. 